Hey y'all, welcome back to All The Power Ministries. It's me, Nina Lauren, and I have a very special video for you today. So I will be showing you just a little clip, a little sneak peek of one of our live Powerhouse Babes training calls. And you guys, this call was absolutely insane. We were planning to go one direction and the Holy Spirit took us another direction. And so it ended up being such a powerful and fire-filled call. And so um, I wanted to share a couple clips. So this is the first clip that I'm going to share. And then in a couple of days, I'll share another clip. But yeah, I thought it would be a good idea to give you guys an inside look of what Powerhouse Babes is like. So maybe if you're a female who is on the fence about joining um, you can check out the community through this video. Also, if you're a male, don't turn off because this is just a fiery word for the body of Christ, um, men and women. So anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And if you were interested in being a part of Powerhouse Babes community, the link is in the description to come over and join us. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Our battle is not against flesh and blood. It is a spiritual battle. Whatever is happening to you in the physical is a spiritual root, okay? And the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty for the pulling down of strongholds. What are your weapons in this season? Let me let you know. Worship, or you can call it worship. Your praise. Your pr the pr It was the praise of the Israelites that brought concrete. Listen, the fortified city walls were so thick that people could live in the walls. It was a thick wall. It wasn't just a little couple bricks stacked up. It was a thick wall. The shout and praise and obedience of the Israelites brought down the walls. Come on, somebody. Your worship is your weapon in this season. Your intercession. It is not coincidence that God is putting intercession on our hearts in this season. And Jackie's doing the equipping. Plug in. It's time for us to intercede. God is calling you to your post, okay? He's teaching you how to fight because let me let you know, honey, we're in the end times and the spiritual warfare and the and the, th the schemes of the enemy are not gonna dwindle. If you're waiting for things to get better, that's not happening. It's going to ramp up even more. The enemy is desperate. He knows his time is short. The Lord needs you to learn how to fight. The Lord needs you to learn how to show up to your post. It is time to put on the full armor of God. Are you? Okay, you got close on. It is time to put on the full armor of God. Grab your sword, which is the word of God. Use your mouth and begin to boldly decree and declare the word of God. Begin to stand in the gap. Begin to declare. Begin to learn how to, listen, ain't nobody had to really teach me how to go in the courts. What did I do? I binge watched eight hours of teachings over and over and over to learn. Many of us think we can go to a man or woman of God and get our bread, get what we need. It is God is teaching you how to stand up and fight for yourself, how to get what you need for your family. It is time for us to rise up. And I'm not saying this to be condemning. I am saying this as a mandate. I am commissioning you. I am being your cheerleader to move forward that you can do this. The devil is a liar. Greater is he who lives in you than he who lives in this world. If you are feeling defeated, tired, worn out, then guess what? That means that there is a lack of prayer going on in your life. There is a lack of fasting. There is a lack of intimacy. And so those are the things that you need to take to. Those are your weapons of warfare in this season. Worship, prayer, intercession. I don't care if you get three hours of sleep tonight, you get off this call, you hit your knees, you take that communion, you plead the blood of Jesus. Listen, my house was under such heavy demonic attack. We were having witches, ast witches astral project. We were having uh, demons manifest themselves to my son. He was being tormented in his sleep. Just a couple weeks ago, my husband and I went to war. If somebody was watching from the window, they would have been like, call the mental hospital. This lady got her door open and is telling something to get out, okay? She's yelling. She's anointing windows. She is, she's going crazy, okay? It is time for us to go all in. The enemy is full-time working against you full-time working against you. And many of you, you're praying for the Lord to take these things away. God is saying, I cannot take them away. They're going to get worse. I need you to learn how to fight. I've given you the manual. I've given you my spirit. I've given you everything that you need. Rise up, my daughter. Rise up, my daughter. Rise up, my daughter. For perhaps you have been chosen for such a time as this. It is not a coincidence that you are alive right now at this time in the last days. You are a part of the army of God. 
This is bigger than you. There are souls that are about to go to hell for eternity. God needs you to step into your post, step into your purpose, step into your authority, learn these things, okay? Listen, boy, listen, Linda. Oh, glory. Sorry, Gabby, you've had your hand raised for a hot minute. No, listen. Yes, yes. Everything you said, ladies, she's not just yelling to condemn. She's not yelling to judge you. She's not yelling Mm -hmm. for that. She's yelling because why? We have to get desperate. There's a fire behind it because I've lived it. Yes, we have to get desperate. It's the time to get desperate. Are you desperate? I'm asking you ladies, are you desperate for a breakthrough in your in your in your home, in your children, in your marriage? Are you desperate? Mine. If you're not desperate, it's time to get desperate. Yeah. And God is going to stretch you to the point where you're going to be so thin that you have to get desperate. You yep. have to call out to him. You have to cry out to him. But don't let it get to that point. Get desperate, get desperate, go to war. Like she was saying, your praise is what brings the walls of Jericho down. What happened in Joshua? What happened? I was just in Joshua today and the Lord gave me a word and I feel like he wants me to share it. And I'm still asking him about it, but I don't know. I don't know. But they talk about the walls of Jericho in Joshua. They talk about the walls of Jericho. What did they do? They marched around it. We have to get on our posts, get desperate. Everything Nina is saying, this is confirmation. Get desperate. I feel it in my belly that we have to get desperate. I feel it. Yeah, there's this like, there's this um, complacency that we get with being the victim constantly needing prayer and needing um just it's a form of insecurity it's a form of insecurity and do you know what insecurity really is it's a form of pride it is when yes when we are insecure ladies ladies when we are insecure when we're sitting in our little puddle of depression and discouragement and doubt and fear we are being prideful why because we are choosing to focus on what is happening instead of getting up walking back and forth in your house screaming the name of the lord (laughs) shouting the praise lifting him up that is how we fight we don't fight in our puddle of pride and insecurity we That's don't. A word. That's a word. And uh. I, when I when I learned that, I had to check myself. Like, but insecurity isn't that like? Because I thought it was like me, like being like trauma, like from trauma. No, I'm focusing on my trauma. I'm choosing to focus on that. And what is that? That's prideful. Because why? We have a choice. We all have a choice. At the end of the day, are you gonna choose? to sit in your puddle? Or are you going to get up and fight for your family? Are you going to get up and break things off of your child so that when they grow up and become an adult, they don't have to do it? Because that's what I'm doing. I will not allow my child to go through this world with the same generational curses, with the same word curses, with the same depression, anxiety, fear, all of that. No, my God is going to break that. He is powerful. He will break it. Yes. Woo. Jesus. Now, listen, Morgan, I I know you got your hand raised. I want to say one thing. Some of you might be feeling like this is um, uh, condemning or something. This should be a commissioning. This should be lighting a fire under you to move you forward. Listen, (laughs) I'm sorry, but I am not going to be the type of life coach that is just going to say, oh, you know, okay, let's just keep praying over the same prayer requests every week. After a couple weeks, we got to get to the root of what's going on. We got to learn how to fight. 
And listen, God is going to allow these things to happen in your life while you're praying for them to go away. God is saying, I'm actually trying to prepare you to learn how to fight. Because I actually, this is bigger than your water getting cut up, cut off because you don't have the water bill money. This is bigger than your husband manifesting the other day and you guys getting into an argument. You know what this is? The Lord is teaching you how to fight and contend so that you can break strongholds and generational curses over your entire bloodline. Over, And you can help other women and other people walk through these things. The Lord is equipping you for such a time as this, ladies. You are chosen. You are called. You are on the front lines. Listen, do you know that it would not be completely crazy if Jesus came back tonight or tomorrow? How would we feel? Would we say, would we get to hear, good job, well done, good and faithful servant, for though everything was thrown against you? Listen, this this life, we're not meant to be comfortable here, you guys. We are in a war zone. (laughs) We are literally in a war zone. There is a whole demonic realm that is on assignment against you, against the children of God. And God tells you, he commissions you forward. What does he say? Uh, Gabby was talking about Joshua. What does he say to Joshua? In Joshua chapter one, he says to him three times, be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. He says, you're going to get here and you're going to come up against giants. You're going to have battles. These things are going to happen. The Lord tells them these things are going to happen. You guys, we're in the last days. It's only going to get worse. This is not the time to shrink back. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Let the spirit of God rise up within you. I know that the world has tried to drown it out. The world has been trying to snuff out your fire, snuff out your flame, get you worn out, but it's time to rise up. 